A very good morning to my dear students. Welcome to your English literature class. Chapter 9 The Missing Honey Pot Today we are going to read the chapter and solve some of the exercises of the text. And also you have to do some written work in your English literature exercise book. Let's begin reading the chapter. I had already sent an animated video where I have explained the chapter. Now, once again, let us read this chapter. Chapter 9, The Missing Honey Pot One day, Tot the bear could not find his honey pot. He looked everywhere. It was not under his bed. It was not on his bookshelf. So, he called his friend Rabbit, the rabbit, to help him. Rabbit, will you please help me find my honey pot? asked Todd. Yes, I will, said Wobbit. Wobbit loved to help his friends. They looked here. They looked there. They looked everywhere. Suddenly, Wobbit found some drops of honey near Todd's box of toys. Look! Shouted Wobbit. Let's open the box, Wobbit, said Todd. When they opened the box, they were very happy. There in the box was the honey pot. Todd thanked his friend Wobbit. He also shared the honey with Wobbit. How did the honey pot get into the box of toys? Both the friends were wondering. Read this chapter children and learn the spellings of the new words. Now let us read the new words. Honey, honey pot, book shelf, rabbit, drops. I hope children, you have understood the chapter. Read the chapter once again. Now, let us solve exercise A. You will do this work in your textbook itself. In your new Gulmohar textbook itself. Copy the true sentence in your textbook. You will write true for true sentences and false for the sentences which are not correct. Do this in the textbook itself. Number one. Todd was a cow. So was Todd a cow? No. Todd was a bear. So the first sentence is false. Number two. Todd could not find his honey pot. This is true. He looked everywhere. 
he could not find his honey pot. Number three. He called his friend Wobbit, the rabbit, to help him. True. He did call his friend Wobbit, the rabbit, to help him. So number three is true. Number four. Wobbit did not like to help his friends. This is also not correct. This is false. Wobbit loved to help his friends. So sentence four is false. Number five. Todd shared the honey with Wobbit. This is true. Todd shared the honey with Wobbit. So, write true and false as shown in this video in the textbook itself. Read the sentences. Activity time. Children, you will do this work in your English literature exercise book. Write neatly. Write the date. And write the heading. You will do this work in your English literature exercise book. You will take out a new page. Write the date. Chapter 9. The Missing Honeypot. Question 1. Write the opposite of these words. Number one. Find. Lose. L-O-S-E. Lose. Find. Lose. Number two. Under. And the opposite is over. O-V-E-R. Over. Number three. Friend. Enemy. E -N -E -N -E. M Y enemy. Number four near, and the opposite is yes far near far. You will do question number two in the same page. Question number two write true. Or false. Number one. The pot was under the bed. Is it true or false? Yes, it is false. The pot was not under the bed. So the sentence is false. The pot was under the bed. Sentence is false. Number one. The pot was under the bed. False. Sentence 2. Wobbit helped Todd to find his spot. And the sentence is true. Yes, Wobbit helped Todd to find his spot. So number 2 is true. Wobbit helped Todd to find his spot. True. Let's check your answer. This is a sample work. You will do this work neatly in your English literature exercise book. Write the date, chapter number 9, The Missing Honey Pot. Question 1. Write the opposite of these words. Find, lose, under, over, friend, enemy, near, far. Write true or false. Question number two. Write true or false. Number one. The pot was under the bed. False. Number two. Wobbit helped Dot to find a spot. True.
do this work neatly in your exercise book. I hope children you have understood today's lesson. Read the chapter once again and learn the spellings of the new words. Practice simple sentences as dictation. Read the chapter and read exercise A from the text book. Take care and be happy. Thank you.